All right, Coach, even though you guys didn't get the win, you guys looked spectacular from the mound. Reed had another career day. Uh, McAveen had a couple strikeouts towards the end. Uh, what's the plan for the rest of the series to try and uh, bounce back from this opening loss? Yeah, it's just life in the ACC. You know, you got to tip your hat to Curry. He was really good for them. Uh, obviously, English, their closer, is really good. We just couldn't, couldn't mount enough offense, couldn't put enough pressure on them. Uh, didn't get many guys on base, didn't get many guys in scoring position. Uh, and and so Reed was, I hate to waste that performance, but didn't even realize he had 16 strikeouts and um, he was phenomenal. You know, it's uh, it's unfortunate, but it's life in the ACC. So we just, we bounce back tomorrow and uh, got Nick Bennett on the mound and just try to play a little better. Coming into this game, Georgia Tech was batting 299, leading the ACC and batting average. Do you credit some of the offensive struggles today due to mainly uh, Georgia Tech's prowess or just maybe uh, struggles on our part? Yeah, you know, just you got two Friday night guys that are just really good. You know, both guys, good records, good ERAs. They don't walk a lot of guys. They strike out a lot of guys. Uh, we just, you know, we couldn't get to Curry. Curry, you know, spot the fastball and hit a lot of fly balls. We couldn't catch up to it. We couldn't lay off it. Um, like I say, you just tip your hat. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good, good ACC game. Unfortunately, we were on the losing end of it. I just told Reed that with his 16 strikeouts, he set a new Jim Patterson Stadium record of single game strikeouts, breaking Brendan McKay's old record. What's it feel like to coach two spectacular pitchers such as them? Yeah, Reed has a lot of qualities like Brendan. And just to be mentioned in the same sentence as Brendan McKay is, uh, is a real honor, but he deserves it. He's worked hard. Um, he's been consistent. He's had phenomenal starts. Um, this will be a learning lesson for us that, you know, you got to, you know, he's not going to shut everybody out. I mean, he's going to give up runs. It's, Brendan McKay gave up runs. It's part of it. So we're just going to have to do a little better job on Friday night and try to do, uh, you know, just a better job trying to manufacture runners, putting the ball in play, better two-strike approach, um, just try to put some more pressure on the defense. and. Uh, I'm sure we'll come out tomorrow and we'll, and we'll compete. Now with this weekend's rotation, you shook it up a little bit going with Bobby Miller in game three replacing Brian Hoeing. Was that more so because of maybe some of Hoeing's recent struggles or is Bobby Miller doing so well out of the pen that you wanted to give him another shot No, starting? I think it's just a change of scenery for both of them. You know, they, they've got a history of Hoeing has been really good out of the bullpen. We just want to get him going again. He's been a little inconsistent, not as sharp. Um, Bobby has a, has a resume of being a really good starter. And, He's been a little inconsistent in his role. So we just felt like we got two guys in a role that, you know, they're not performing at their best. And our job as coaches is to help these guys put them in positions to uh, succeed. So just thought a little change of scenery and let's let's let Hoeing come out of the bullpen. He was phenomenal in that role. And let's let Bobby start and let's see see where that takes us. Now with two more walks tonight, Logan continues to pad his walks as he, he continues to lead the nation in it. He's now on pace for 84 on the season, which would blow the program record out of the water. Do you like what you're seeing out of him so far or maybe going forward with ACC play starting to ratchet up a little bit? Do you want to see him maybe be a little bit more aggressive or do you like the pace he's going? No, I think he he's, he, he's a smart kid. I mean, he knows what he's doing in the batter's box. Um, there's times he's aggressive. He realizes he's probably going to walk couple times a game so uh, when you get a chance to jump on a fastball or you get a strike he's been swinging I know earlier in the year he seemed to take a lot of strikes but he starts to realize well you know if I don't swing early in the count there's a good chance I could walk so um, he's just got to be Logan it's a long year and uh, you just don't want him trying to do things that are uncomfortable for him and you know if they're going to walk him they're going to walk him and hopefully the times they pitch to him you know he just puts together some good ABs.